Let's talk about some of the important topics from science and technology expected for your coming examinations. So the first is Matasya 6000. Now Matasya 6000 is an indigenously designed vehicle. It has a capability to dive nearly 6000 meters deep into the ocean and look for the polymetallic nodules and do research in the bottom of the ocean. So this is a mining machine, an unmanned vehicle, uh, automated aim to explore the deep sea uh, nodules and the biodiversity in the deep ocean. The next important topic is Doppler weather radar network. Uh, now this is a system which would be incorporated across India by 2025. The idea would be to predict the more extreme weather climate conditions with better accuracy and precision. Uh, there are numerous such stations which are already planned. For example, at Murari Devi and Jyot in Himachal Pradesh, this has been planned. Lahul and Spiti uh, is another plant, uh, is another place where it has been planned and uh, uh, the reason why it has been planned in Lahul Spiti is the frequency of the cloud bursts have increased over the time period. Uh, similarly, at Banihal Top in Jammu Kashmir, there is another uh, radar, radar network which is to be uh, brought in, and uh, Sukhar Khanji in Uttarakhand is another important location. The next is India has become one of the pioneer uh, investors and this has been laid down by the International Seabed Authority. International Seabed Authority has its headquarters at Jakarta and India has been officially given uh, the title of being a pioneer investor. The reason is the polymetallic nodule exploration over the coming years, the extraction of the metallurgy has been brought extensively with institutions like National Institute of Oceanography, Institute for Mineral and Material uh, Technology. And the idea is to identify these polymetallic nodules and find their uh, better utility options. <clears throat> Another interesting uh, concept that has been laid down is the concept of uh, cobra venom cy cytotoxins. Now they have, they can now be used for anti-venom therapy. Cobra belong to the genus Nang and this has been uh, spread extensively over Asia, over Africa. Uh, the idea is the cobra venoms are predominantly three finger family. They belong to what is called as three finger family venoms. And this is where it constitutes 60 to 65 percent or 75 percent of the total venom. Now cytotoxins play an important enzymatic role and they are uh, ubiquitously found. They are completely found in the uh, cobra venom that is the Naja genus. Uh, Naja genus as the name of the cobra family or the species has again a differentiation between uh, the Asian versus the African uh, species. The African is believed to have more cytotoxins. Uh, again it is responsible for cardiac failures and is is also called as cardiotoxin so called as cytotoxins as well as cardiotoxins and this uh, is one of the efforts through which antivenom therapy could be brought with remarkable developments the next is bringing in a development of artificial synapse now we have understood synapse in our sections on nervous system this concept of artificial synapse can be brought using scandium nitride scandium nitride is a semiconductor material which has supreme stability and has uh, a capability to <clears throat> create artificial synapse with brain-like computing. Uh, this has been done as a part of JNCSR uh, research which is Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced uh, Scientific Research in Bangalore and through this research we are talking about the neuromorphic computing as well. The next is the event Vigyanika. This is a science literature uh, festival which is celebrated through which scientific poems, scientific literatures and all sorts of activities that promote science 
साइंस डेवलपमेंट आर इनिशिएटेड स्वास्तिक इज द फर्स्ट इंडियन कल्चरल हेरिटेज कमिटी मीटिंग वी कुड से दैट एम्स टू हैव साइंटिफिकली वेलीडेटेड ट्रेडिशनल नॉलेज टू द सोसाइटी दैट कुड बी इनकॉर्पोरेटेड द नेक्स्ट इज अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग आस्पेक्ट अ न्यू प्लेटो हैज बीन डिस्कवर्ड इन द रीजन ऑफ वेस्टर्न घाट इन महाराष्ट्र दिस रेयर लो लाइंग प्लेटो इज होम टू नियरली सेवेंटी सिक्स डिफरेंट स्पीशीज ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड ट्वेंटी फोर डिफरेंट स्पीशीज हैव बीन डिस्कवर्ड इन द रीजन ऑफ थाने इट सेल्फ दे इट इज पार्ट ऑफ द फोर बायो द फोर ग्लोबल बायोडाइवर्सिटी हॉट स्पॉट्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन इंडिया एंड हैज बीन होम टू वेरियस एंडेमिक एंड यूनिक स्पीशीज अगरकर रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट वन ऑफ द प्रीमियर रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट इन पुणे हैज बीन स्टडिंग द बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड रिलेटेड फिनोमिनाज टू इट द नेक्स्ट इज क्रोमियम कोटिंग ना क्रोमियम कोटिंग इज डन ऑन मोस्ट ऑफ द सब्सटेंसेस सिंस इट इज करोजन रेजिस्टेंट बट दिस क्रोमियम टॉक्स कोटिंग इज टॉक्सिक इन नेचर दिस हेक्सावल एंड क्रोमियम इज एक्सट्रीमली टॉक्सिक एंड देर फॉर अ न्यू डेवलपमेंट हैज बीन मेड वे डिपोजिशन ऑफ निकल अलॉय कुड बी डन एंड दिस निकल अलॉय कुड एक्चुअली हैव अ बेटर कोटिंग विद नॉन टॉक्सिक इम्प्लीकेशन दिस कैन बी मेड पॉसिबल थ्रू पल्स्ड करंट इफेक्ट्स एंड देर फॉर इट कुड जनरेट इंस्टेंटेनियस करंट डेंसिटी इन वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम एंड लीड टू हाई रेट ऑफ न्यूक्लिएशन एंड दिस इज दिस इज द रीजन इट इज यूज इन पॉलीमर्स एज वेल एज प्लास्टिक इंडस्ट्रीज एज डाईकास्ट द नेक्स्ट इज जेब्रा फिश नाउ जेब्रा फिश इज अ यूनिक फिश द प्रोटीन विच इज फाउंड इन द बैकबोन ऑफ जेब्रा फिश इज considered as a treatment module for aged disc problems so as a person ages what happens is there are uh, disc problems it could be related to neck shoulder back pain and these complicate over the years there are no standardized treatments as of now, now but only anti inflammatory or uh, therapeutic treatment which could be provided however this protein which has been found in the backbone of zebra is actually the protein which is called as ccna2 which is the cellular communication network factor 2a and this uh, factor 2 sorry 2a not a2 uh, ccn 2a that is the cellular communication network factor 2a and this has been responsible for auto regeneration of the backbone in zebra fish uh, the the concept can be brought along and uh, brought into human beings for rehabilitating people having problems with uh, disc the next is um, electrolytes which can be used for synthesis of ammonia now a new aqueous electrolyte solution has been prepared and this can be used for industries as an alternative to green energy now this electrochemical ammonia synthesis uh, actually has a very poor uh, capability because uh, as of now nitrogen uh, in the aqueous electrolyte solution uh faces reduction and this uh, there are various problems which are associated to it however the new aqueous electrolyte would actually reduce those problems another important development is organic solar cells now so far we talk about solar cells being prepared from uh, the rare earth metals however this time we have created a solar cell which is organic in nature it is a combination of organic polymer and pcbm which is an organic semiconductor now they have a potential to convert a steel roof into energy producing device and this would have a better efficiency than the normal solar cells which are there this has been brought as an alternative to the conventional indium tin oxide which is used as of now and uh, this indium tin oxide is used as an optoelectrical material but does has its own limitations the next is a new center for national genome editing has been laid down at mohali and this is part of the national agri uh, food biotechnology institute at mohali another interesting development is 
the vainu bapu observatory which is located in kavalur in tamil nadu the vainu bapu observatory is nothing new uh, this has a telescope which is a 40 inch telescope discovered by professor vainu bapu the in the name of the professor and this has uh, done numerous researches for astronomy uh, studies for example it has talked about the new satellite of uranus it has talked about the rings of the uranus the b star concept the uh, the ganymede of jupiter uh, those are some of the studies which have been done also as part of this observatory there have been developments so this observatory has uh, completed uh, is about to complete its 50th year so that's why has been in news and is important uh, now through this development period there have been new institution uh, new developmental uh developmental landmarks at this observatory which have been laid, laid down for example uh, case grain photo uh, photometer uh, spectrograph have been established polarimeter and the replacements for it and uh, the near infrared photometers have been installed the next is <coughs> electric vehicles now uh electric vehicles 90% of the electric vehicles use brushless dc and they are made up of niobium iron boron okay this is the magnet material which is used now this magnetic material has an exceptional property can go up to a temperature of 150 to 200 degree celsius and also uh, there is a property for demagnetization which is to be used using diasporium now diasporium when it is used uh, this is actually very rare and in uh, in addition to it it is also a costly uh, substitute so <clears throat> there have been recent developments which have been done where uh, uh improved energy uh, rare earth free low cost magnets have been developed and that is through the enrichment of copper uh, this has been made possible so uh, in contrast to this rare earth material which is diasporium uh, copper could be brought into use and this could actually benefit the electric vehicles and the development of the electric vehicles a recent development for creating air filters have brought green tea into prominence and this green tea can be used in those air filters and this can protect the germs by 99 per, 99.9% this was a research which was done during the covid period and this technology was transferred to earth which is a startup for the same and this is now into market in the name of earth filters uh, the next is uh the region of himachal pradesh the haritayal nagar uh is one of the areas where fossil lizards and snakes have been found and they indicate the climate of late miocene period during that time now lizards and snakes are cold blooded widely distributed in the regions of asia and africa and um, have been dependent on climate and temperature condition so it has been believed that the climatic conditions uh, during the miocene period were very very similar to what we have uh, ranging from sub humid to sub arid and this is one of the studies which have been laid down another interesting fact is the records which have been brought are from the varinates species now this species is a very rare species of python uh, the earliest record dates back to the region of pakistan and in india it belongs to the region of kutch and gujarat however this distribution in the region of himachal pradesh has brought new things into life so those were some of the important topics for this session we would be continuing our sessions for science and tech recent developments and expected questions in the last paper we had seen typical questions from science and technology and therefore we are giving a special focus to it this time uh, we would be covering this uh, under another three different lectures so stay tuned for updates and do follow the links below for more information